Hello everyone, my name is Namrata Sood and I am a trainer from Vizrobo. Vizrobo is an institute that provides children STEM education, that is science, technology, engineering and mathematics for K-12 students. So in today's session, I am going to teach you to make a DIY hologram model. So for the model, you require an empty plastic bottle. I'm using a bigger one. You can use any plastic bottle you have. A green one can also work. Simple cello tape and a marker, pencil, scale, cutter, a scissor, and a graph paper. If you do not have graph papers, no need to worry. You can take a simple paper and make a grid of six by six. I have made this grid on my own and each box is one into one centimeter so let us start with our today's session so for our first step is you have to mark on this grid first you have to take two columns at the top and mark them and then these six columns the bottom line. If you are using a graph paper, you can take any two columns and then six columns here beneath it with the six column difference. Three, four, five, six. So six vertical columns and six horizontal columns you will need and then you have to join their corners with the help of a scale. So this kind of a shape will you get you get this kind of a shape so uh, you have to take your plastic bottle and remove its lower as well as the upper part so be very careful you can either use a scissor or a cutter i'm using cutter i need just this plain part of the bottle i don't need its upper or lower part so remove it very carefully Part. Now comes the upper part. So once you have cut the cutter, you can use scissor also. Yes, now I have removed both the upper and the lower part. I just need this plain part of the bottle, and now I will cut it from the center also. So now you have this plain part with you, fold it towards the opposite side and fill it with the rough cloth. So now when you have got this plain part, we need to keep it here on this shape we have earlier made and mark this shape on this part of the bottle with the help of marker. So you need to little bit press it harder and then with the help of marker you need to draw the same shape. So first you can draw the dots at the corners and then join it. It will become a little easier. So you joining the dots. Like this. So I have drawn the same shape from the paper onto the bottle. So I have enough of the space. I can draw these shapes more over here. I need four of these shapes. So once you are done with it, you either if you are using a bigger bottle, you can draw the same shapes like this, two, three or four. Or you can just reverse this bottle and keep this shape here. And you can draw the adjacent shape if you are using a smaller bottle as I need four of them. So, do the same here also, and then again reversing it to draw the third one, keeping it adjacent. Like 
this this needs to be straight up and the same I have to repeat with the fourth one also again I am going to reverse this when you draw it adjacent it is also easier to cut so I have drawn it and now I will cut all these four shapes with the help of scissors from this bottle. So be a little bit careful while doing this. For those using a bigger bottle can draw four shapes different differently differentiately and then cut them for those using a smaller bottle can draw them adjacent it is also easy to cut adjacent shapes as you can see i have cut the cut all them four together and now i just need to cut these lines so you can see i have got the first one Similarly, second one, third one, and I have got my four shapes I require. One, two, three, and four. You have to join all these four shapes with the help of cello tape like this, in the shape of funnel. You have to join them all and give them a shape of funnel. So take your cello tape and cut it with the help of a scissor. You have to join this tape here edge to edge like this and then face the other like this cut the extra tape if any like this I have joined the two shapes now we will be joining the third one here like this again taking my tape cutting it with scissor and join it like this and now let's again cut the extra tape so once you're done with this now you have to take the fourth shape and join it on both sides like this so So done with this now applying the tape on the last side and join it like this now cut the extra tape from both sides if any And this is my 3D hologram. Now, how to? So, this is my final 3D hologram ready. Now, how to use it? For it, you have to take your phone and open the YouTube. And in YouTube, you have to type 3D hologram video. As you can see, you have to type 3D hologram video, and this kind of page will appear on your screen. So, you can uh, take any one of this. I am playing this video switch it to the full screen and play the video so here you will see that there will be four shapes moving on the screen and you have to keep your hologram at its center the light from all these four shapes will concentrate at the center of hologram and form a 3d image so uh, it is it can be seen easily uh, with the light switched off so i'm going to switch off the light so for 
my hologram here and you will see that a 3D image can be seen at the center of my hologram. this really interesting and amazing so you can you know see many things like this there are so many videos different videos available on the youtube you can just play any one of them and keep your hologram at the center so this was our 3d hologram and the principal youtube is all the light was constituted at center and forming the 3d image is called reflection i hope you all enjoyed your session so thank you and have a good day. Do like, share and subscribe our channel.